to. Um, um, but then you got um, younger younger generations that you know young adults and that uh, they're just you know for the money and you know they want to get famous you know and but they don't really know the culture anymore because of the, all that assimilation that happened in the past. Um, so there's different points of view in all of this. <laughs> And it's very sad because, you know, in any culture, once, you know, even in, in my own culture, once the grandparents died, there wasn't as much of the language being spoken of Italian. You know, I'm of, of Italian descent. And when you, you know, when you um, suppress that for people, that, that that's taking away their culture. That's taking away their heritage. And... I'm very educated on, on, on a lot of Native American history and a lot of the things that have taken place, probably more than the average white girl. You know, some people look at me like, wow, <laughs> you, know, you, you know a lot for a white woman. And, you know, and I, yeah, it is a stereotype. Not too many white people like myself mm-hmm. know a lot of the travesties that have taken place. And I always tell people, if we really knew our history, the real, real history that took place in this mm-hmm. country we would we wouldn't say we are the land of the brave and home of the free we we would say mm-hmm. we would step back and say oh my god we just desecrated a, a nation several nations of people with a sword in one hand and a bible in the other and you know i'm a very metaphysical person i believe that mm-hmm. great spirit is everywhere and and Great spirit doesn't, you can't find great spirit in the church. Great spirit is the sunset. Uh, gr- creator is, is the moon that rises at night. It's, it's, it's nature. When you take that belief away from people, I mean, Native Americans are one of the original pagans, in my opinion. You know, you, if this world had shifted differently in 1492, we wouldn't be, this planet wouldn't be in the crisis it is if it would have stayed in the hands of the Native Americans. So let's just put it that way. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I, I'm very disappointed in Adam Sandler, especially because of, of his, his uh, ethnic origin. Um, him doing something like this, you don't see too many people in Hollywood making side jokes and, and, and wisecracks, I wouldn't find it funny, uh, about the Holocaust or, or Jews being burned or gassed. I mean, it's just not funny. It, you don't ever see that in Hollywood, but yet, unfortunately, Hollywood is, is very, um, the, most people in Hollywood are of Jewish descent, you know. Uh, I'm going to use this as an example, Lauren. Many months ago, the actress, I don't know if you're familiar with her, Penelope Cruz, yeah. Uh, P- Penelope Cruz and her, her gorgeous, beautiful husband, Javier, and I don't know his last name. Um, I'm sure someone in the chat room is going to help me out there. Uh, protested against the um, Palestinians a couple, several months ago, were being bombed by Israel. And they had protested that. They said, you know, hey, I, I got a problem with seeing children's heads blown off. I don't care what race they are. I don't care about that. It's the humanity of it. And they were told by several Jewish producers and directors that they will never work in Hollywood again. They will never get those main roles for speaking out. And it's just like what I said earlier in my broadcast. You know, what they did was not wrong. What they did was the right thing. It's a humanitarian plight. It's a plight of, of, of decency. And, and saying, hey, this this has got to stop. You know, innocent lives are being killed in the name of what? Religion and war? Um, I, when you were, when I was reading this story that was posted in Indian country, that's what came to my mind is these two actors that, that spoke up against an atrocity that was taking place and then being told mm-hmm. they'll never be able to work in, ho- in, in uh, Hollywood again. And I'm being told in the chat room his name was Javier Bardem. Bardem, I think he's from uh, Brazil. Anyone who's ever seen Eat, Love, Pray will know who this guy is. He's the hunky dude at the end of the show every woman goes crazy for. That's Penelope Cruz's husband. And come to think of it, <clears throat> I have not seen them in any movies lately. I don't see them coming up in any. Uh, and it's kind of sad 
that this can take place in in this this world where we have access to the internet and we can find out the truth. Um, I I feel very bad for your people that had to go through this, and I'm very proud of you. I would have done the same thing. I would have walked off the set. You know, um, Lauren, my my own child is in acting school, and I don't say too much about this to the public, but she had was doing a photo shoot a couple of weeks ago and they had told her you could do this one you could do that one you could dress up as this and you know she finally said i'm i can't dress up as that and they said well why not and it was it was a native american headdress and you know she said even me being of native american blackfoot and cherokee nation descent i don't haven't earned the right to wear that headdress and i'm of native descent so I just don't think people understand that the culture, it's it's a religious right in great many ways. This is your culture. This is, you know, what what you guys do. And and people just don't get it. It, They just don't get it. It it, it floors me the ignorance and stupidity in this country, Lauren. And you're much younger than me. I'm probably old enough to be your mom. And I thank you because we need this generation to step up to the plate and say enough is enough i mm-hmm. thank you i'm getting such positive feedback right now in my chat room from you that you you're, you're a welcome. bright shining star we thank you for this well it's um i appreciate it um it's um you know it's one of those things that um it's like an inheritance it feels like um you know, I, I think of Rosa Parks, you know, she was just tired, sat down and just said, no, I don't want to move. And, and in this case, it was, you know, the, the, just speaking out from the heart and saying what was right. And um, we, I, none of us expected it to get the attention that it did from the world and has continually um, as an issue. Uh, but I'm glad. Uh, I wish there was more awareness for um, issues like this, you know, not only for, you know, Indian country, but other minorities that um, that have experienced inequalities or injustices, um, because a lot of times, you know, when I wrote the story to Indian country today, it was only because I knew other media would probably brush it under the rug, just like any other situation, because, like, during the same time that we're going through this whole thing, there was, you know, 57 uh, uh, South Dakota uh, native kids that got you know poured beer on at some hockey game and nobody did anything about it. And um, are you kidding? Oh yeah, my god! Small, small little paragraph and then a couple of newspapers and that was it. So you know there's issues like that that um, just get brushed under the rug for you know native people and um, but uh, you know we want to use this in a positive way you know to you know let people know that we need to love one another. We're all human beings and we can do awesome stuff. We can work together. And uh, you know the whole native aspect, uh, native aspect of of you know seeing the world as, as our mother and taking care of our mother, you know, and that's you know one of the reasons why I walked out is because they're talking about our mothers, they're talking about you know women like you and women that are listening on, on right now, is that you know everyone deserves respect, but you know women deserve it the most because they give us life. You know, I'm I'm part female because of my mother. Um, and um, we should protect that. And women are sacred. Women are special. And and in that in that way, I mean, a lot of people don't see that. You know, you know, the, the Adam Sauer movie was all about disrespecting women and calling them names and degrading them. And yet, the male characters had all these like awesome, heroic, strong names. But you know, it, it's it's always like that. You know, and it, <laughs> so it's a it's a tough situation to where we need to break these stereotypes. We need to break the racism. Um, and and bring this awareness of saying, hey. We don't like it. We're offended. And, and even though we we said that, and if you've seen the video, guys, and, and it, it, it's on there where, you know, we're ta- talking about changing the names, and they don't want to do it because of many reasons. They, they just straight up told us, no, we're not changing anything. And, you know, but yet they said, you know, we know you guys are offended. You know, you got, we didn't know, we didn't mean any harm, you know, but yet they know now, but they're still continuing. It. And that's the way that it always goes. It's so ironic that we had to have this conversation in 2015, that seems so similar to the ones we had 300 years ago and 500 years ago. Um, it seems so I know. Changing the 
It's disheartening. I, it is very disheartening to think we have not evolved into better human beings and better people by 2015. That's why I say your generation is our hope. My children are my hope that this can get changed, that, that you know, it, it's just like the whole, you know, the, the gay thing that's going on with the people. I have, we have states protesting this. You know what? Live and let live. You know, we're all one. We are all connected in some way. It, it really saddens me that we live in a society like this, but it is what it is. And I think the more we speak up, the more we have my radio shows and the other shows that come on here and talk about these issues, the, the better it is for us to get that message out there to the people. Because I know there's people going, I didn't hear anything about this. Where do you get your information from? <laughs> well, you have to put yourself in in into certain areas that you know you don't go to mainstream media because I guarantee you I could bet money on this. None of this was broadcasted on NBC, ABC, Fox News, or CNN. I mean, not too many people I talk to know about this story, and that's one of the reasons I brought it to the airwaves tonight is because people need to hear this. They need to know what's going on and not brush it under the rug. And that's kind of why I said to you, well, I'll t I can get you, if you want to come on for a half an hour, let's get you on for a half an hour because the story needs to be told. People need to know what's going on. And I really appreciate you coming on. And I find it interesting that um, Adam Sandler, in fact, you guys, I'm going to go back to the article now, Apparently, Adam Sandler has a new nickname with the Native American community, and I think it's quite an appropriate nickname. Uh, this was written by um, a gentleman. He calls himself the marginally funny, unfamous Native comedian, and I actually tried to get him on the show, but he had another engagement. His name is Mark. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Yaffe? Lauren, did I pronounce that right? Yaffe? Yeah, Yaffe. Yaffe. I talked to him the other day, and... He had given him the nickname, uh, what is it called? I'm looking for it now. You might know it right off the top of your head. You might want to help me out here. Uh, uh, runs from Controversy. That's his new Indian name. Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. Runs from Controversy, everyone. Has he said anything? Has he made a statement since this no, article? He hasn't, he hasn't made no, no formal statement. Um just the one from Netflix that they, they put out. Um, when we tried talking, because it wasn't just a walkout. You know, a lot of people were, were saying, you know, are assuming, you know, I, I would have stayed, you know, I would have stayed and tried to figure things out. But, yeah, we that's what we did, you know. It wasn't just like, okay, we found out all this stuff that's bogus and walked out. No, we tried to talk to the producers. We tried to talk to directors. And they weren't having it. It was mostly about money. You know, they were concerned about money and, and um, you know, not wanting to reshoot, re re rewrite things. Um, it was all, you know, done deal in their books, and there was no way they were going to budge from it. And originally we wanted to talk to Adam, you know, because he was the main guy. It was his, it was his writing. It was his movie. And, um, but he didn't want to talk to us. And we just basically had to deal with the directors and producers ourselves. Um, but... Um, Nothing, nothing was um, ever, no compromises were made and uh, no changes at all. <clears throat> um, you know, the, the, one of the directors, she tried talking to me and tried talking to uh, our women elders that were there, you know, trying to say these names weren't degrading. It was just comedy. It's just part of the joke. So, you know, I, I reversed it on her and I said, what if your granddaughter came home from school and said, you know, kids or boys are picking on her calling her beaver's breath you know would that be funny to her and she's like no and, and you know that was done deal I was like that's that's why we need to change this because you know what what people don't understand is you know that they'll tell me a lot you know if you if you read some of the stuff you know a lot of, a lot of people just don't get it and they're just negative about it and they're just like you know these natives just need to get over it but the thing is, is we can't because it's never been over with yet which we're still dealing with these things and um, all the, the stuff that we've been through, it's, um, it's been bad. And um, to the point where, you know, we have the one of the nation's highest suicide rates. Um, yeah. And not only that, we got we got tons of Native women that go missing all the time. And then Native women are ten times higher than the national average to get in some kind of sexual assault or rape or, or murder. And these type of things, 